as Moran Omar diced in a cool the car. Um, I'm gonna play Hammer. I know a lot of the uh, lists are not doing that. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. Get the Mox up to date two. Almost done. Oh, I guess Affinity round one. Hammer leagues can take a little bit longer than expected sometimes too. Maybe this is a mulligan, but I feel I feel like just like having a coat, like Sentinel and the Stone Forge, kind of just like find on the draw. Three cards in their hand. All right, gives me a card. Um, Origin the Anchor. Look at the top five of your library. Put any number artifacts from among them revealed into your hand. They find two Midmites, a Sojourner's Companion, and a Patchwork Automaton. None of these, however, are going to be great at beating my Cauldra, though. This was already in the hand. Well, they found the other two min mines. It's actually that's actually kind of probably going to chump with a uh, ornithopter this turn. Then it'll be a good draw. Typically, Urza Saga. Card is able to be good. Take it. What's up? It's me, your friend, the Spiring Spirit. One card in their hand is an unknown. Like, I think I just put Coat into play here too. Is the Cauldra is still, or no? Let's. I guess. I guess I want to get. Um, I want to be able to. I want to cast Stone Forge against Shadow Spear, probably. Land would be good to like do both this turn. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you just like your your stone forge like value plan is like so much better with the codes. Not that these kind of games come up that often. I no cards in my opponent's hand now. It could also flip paladin here just to spell pierce. Paladin would have been so nuts, I guess. Oop. Well, I I love when I play a first game with a deck and the 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 idea, the new idea, or whatever is like immediately, immediately awesome. I also have been playing Jimson Cowards and Hammer for a while. First copy of the seventy five is good. I've been the sideboard now. I've played in the main deck before, but usually usually they get that more in like mono white builds. I don't have a whole bunch of surges for Haywire Mites post board. I don't know if yeah, I really even want these solitudes. I want the marches I probably more than I want the solitudes. They play like three surge. Sentinel. Well, I'm lucky no gemstone caverns. Certainly gonna keep. Be nice to play the drum this turn and go Stone Forge into March next turn, but probably just be taking the one mana Stone Rain. Feel grateful. I hope they don't name Arid Mesa. They can, I doubt they name Urza Song, they name Stone Forge Mystic. That makes some sense. So we will not be getting Cauldra off this anymore, I guess. Yeah, let's just cast the Pally, and then I can, uh, oh, 
Probably cast the coat, the saga coat, or drum saga coat. Main phase uh, artifact cycles. So join his companion, gets a dark steel citadel. Passes. Draw a card, cloak. Cloak me, cloak the pure still paladin, holy guacamole. <laughs> That's good. Holders a valid choice. Why? Oh, I can't I can't put it into play off of uh, Stoneforge. We have surge to protect from uh likely incoming haywire might. Okay, clip it onto our unblockable cloaked pure steel paladin. Attack for 13. Be really shocked if I don't see a uh, haywire might pop onto the battlefield. I'm surprised, but this is also just not getting the job done right. I'll be able to grab another hammer off the saga. Is any reason to not re-equip on Gen Tap here still? I guess you probably should do that, huh? Are they gonna be able to gain enough life that another hammer is not gonna do it? Likely. Could flip this up. I think probably just better not to. Okay, this is twenty three unblockable with two protection spells. Let's not overthink too much. It's only it's only one game, but at, at the time of making this comment, I would probably be su I would be surprised if Cryptic Code is not stock and hammer. <laughs> it's only only been one game, but I, I would be surprised if Cryptic Code did not become certainly keeping. Um, seems like it's sometimes correct to lead on Saga. Probably probably not very often. Love gun play. Put on something. Play. Speaking of late line of the guild pact, drew a hammer. How much you have been able to resolve these decks? This is the first time I played hammer time in months. When I, yeah, when I say last stone for the archetype, I'm not talking about like stone blade as a variant. I'm talking about hammer time. We we, we do it. <laughs> I kind of feel like code is like breathing in life to a, a very much struggling archetype. We're supposed to go in here. Yeah, no, I'm like Cryptic Coast number one. No one loves. <laughs> And imagine winning the time. Knocks down to 10. Oh, they're rhinos. We have to draw a card. Stone Forge uh, would be nice so I could get a Shadow Spear. Then my hand is now somehow all Springleaf Drums. What happens if I block here? I take 6. Wait, does he have, does he have flying also? First Strike Hex Reef Lifeling Trip. 610. I think it's Shadow Spear. Seems like I'm like never tapping out of uh, Surge, so let's just. Uh...
Wait. Would deal to creatures you control, not to not to me. Right? Prevent all damage, black or red sources would deal to creatures you control. Doesn't just doesn't, doesn't fog them, does it? I remember when I was losing in the finals of my PTQ, I boarded this in against a black red deck and limited, and I I was trying to figure out like did this card save me or not, and it, it did not. I, I I like one card in hand, one mana up, and I was like pausing at at, at like the at like the um. Or I was pausing to see if this if the fog would save me, and my opponent was like clearly frustrated. I was thinking so long, and I like sh showed them the card, and it's like, oh, so late. Things I've been missing drawing cards off Esper since it was such a good feeling. I'm at four. They play a tap land. Here, I think just always construct Shadow Spear. Up another surge. Crash in for twelve. My turn for big life linker. Isn't Cyan worth blocking before token? Cyan has flying! I don't have flying! <laughs> what? <laughs> I all like last two weeks. People think I can block the side with without flying. <laughs> like that gets suggested so much lately. Cryptico would be an awesome draw. Just crack in with the Sentinel. There's a good chance they have like violent outburst here, but then we um. Let's go just the Sentinel. Let's go think of it inside. Well, it's nice that in this deck is you could pitch it to Force and Subtlety, but it's mostly just Scion. Hammer would be a fun draw. Coat, still. Coat, coat would also be fun. A little late on the spell, Pierce. Ready for the Surge blowout? Oh yeah, Surge saves my guy. Should I, should I, should I Surge, though? I feel like I just shouldn't surge, because they're a Leyline Binding deck. I should just play Paladin and move stuff over right there. Oh wait, but this they said they have no I need I need to surge because they have first strike. Alright. I gotta screenshot this. Oh no. Hope this works right. Yeah, and they get no life. Alright, let's uh, arm some likes on Fun new trick. Hammer players. You can use Surge of Salvation as an offensive fog to avoid massive First strike damage. Yes, a three line plus ion. I should say. <laughs> yep. Begin sideboarding. Bring in. Magistrates, bring in the gemstone caverns on the draw. Fairy, bring in the spell pierces. A lot of cards. Lots of cards. Probably should be cutting a coat. I think I'm I'm just not gonna. Uh I think we might be interested in and going down like two ornithopter drum. All drug, it's the Leyland Binding deck. Got Jinji. Jinji's a little less needed with Cryptic Coat. 
we're good to do that. Yeah, I just want to keep both codes in for like more playtesting, but I feel like I should probably just like cut a code. Well, we have Hammer, Aid, Shadow Spear, Surge. What we don't have is a creature, but I think you just, you gotta keep early. If I still have Ginger Brood in my deck, I would probably be leading on Urza Saga here. I'm playing Chalice and Hammer. Yeah, you can play Chalice and Hammer. Yeah, Stone is kind of interesting, but if they also if they just don't draw a ley line, it's kind of tough, right? That's Serga Saga creatures, Gemstone, yeah. <laughs> right on time, Dreadeth Magistrate. Also, should have been on the super draw. Or maybe the play. <laughs> or maybe the play. Well, there's always game. Let's get draw, you know, Sakart is eight. Now then we go Saga Token three three, get a thing four four. I'll have to not like leave up. I guess I can get a uh, Springleaf Drum, and this can leave up Surge of Salvation. I think of the Domain Rhinos deck. Ah, uh, it's okay. I I've been I've been kind of crushing Rhinos lately. Been playing a lot of like blue white control decks, so it's kind of hard for me to evaluate because I just keep playing like good, really good matchups against them. But I think it looks good. It looks looks pretty 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 exciting. What does Surge do here? Uh, I can protect from uh, <laughs> Leyline Binding. Can protect from Force of Vigor, Fire Ice. That's like, really important to have these. Uh, be five power, right? That means that I'm pretty dead. Um, I, I'm one point short of not being able to go block agent, block rhino, and get like shadow spear online. We'll go through the motions. There, there may be like some out I'm not thinking of, but I think we're dead. We tap our construct at any point, we're, we're dead though. I mean, in combat. I mean, like finding in combat with the trample stuff. I guess you're right. Yeah, that's the strategy. Overthinking it. A lot, most, a lot of times it's good enough too because a lot of modern players start at less than 15 life with a fetching and shocking. Not seizing. Okay, what can I, what can I draw that will allow me to concede against this Rhino as a player who's tanking so hard? Or that, do I do I have any outs? Uh, no, obviously didn't. Let's... Yeah, I think the Stone Quill attack is probably not great, but fun. All right, game two. Weird hand. Let's mulligan. Let's also the mulligan six. Five. Let's keep on five. Keep back both pure steel paladins. Hope to draw land for Draneth Magistrate. Keep that six and pure land like a god gamer? I don't know. 
That six was so sketchy. Especially when we have Draneth Magistrate in our deck, we just very fives. Not that this is particularly better. I think so. Supposed to be I played Hammer Thirsty. How'd you do? <laughs> How'd you do? <laughs> Three for one. <laughs> Play this, I believe. Day two, the first coffee. Day two is good. Day two is good. Congrats. This is get my last RC, day two, and uh, break off round two of day one. Or day, round two of day two. Technically round three, I guess, because you play round one of day two on day one. So that way, day one is a nice, clean 12 hours. So the hand is Hallowed Fountain, and hopefully it's all Ley Lines and Cascade spells. Kind of close, I think, between... Playing Shadow Spear and not playing Shadow Spear in this spot. The draw off the Paladin would be really nice, but I could also just easily draw another Colos land next turn, which would let me equip onto the Sentinel, which would be really nice too. Let's uh, let's hold it. I think I think it's close again. Usually the Rainbow build, like the stock Rainbow build at the moment, from what I understand, doesn't play Tidebinder. It'd be a really like reasonable card to include though, so we'll see. Shocks and fountain. No point exposing to force of vigor. Well, I would I would kind of like them to cast force of vigor so I could use my surge and not just be choked on mana forever. I did board out the cauldra. With them shocking in the fountain, I'm not tapping out of surge. I think I'll go to cast this. Let her just waste all my mana every turn. Yeah, I saw a lot of rough sideboards for the uh, Rainbow Rhinos deck. All right, Esper Sentinel, you served as well. You were four for one. I just can't let them go binding uh, Rhinos. I'm just in such good shape if I draw a land also. I wonder if they had subtlety if they wouldn't have countered that. Surely they subtlety there. I, it's, the upside of getting it for one is so low, though. Let's just not attack. White source would be awesome. Yeah, we've talked a little bit about Cottage Coat. I'm not, like, super amped or anything about <laughs> the play those two cards together necessarily, but you could. That's the hammer. What are you thinking about? I know, but lots of cool decisions over there. Okay, resolves, your turn. Surely if they had force of negation, they should have used it there. Can't be that tough. So what if I just cast Pure Still Paladin? Or sorry, what if I just cast Surge? Is that bad? I'm obviously like been repping protection spell this whole game. I could just equip Shadow Spear onto Draneth Magistrate. What can even go wrong? Let's do that. Return clock. Activate Inkmoth with its own mana and play pure steel. Yeah, I think I just want to keep both surges up. Because especially if my opponent does have force of negation and they're trying to set up for like I guess I guess force beats the sur this two surges pretty hard. I don't know. I, I can also just draw land and then do it next turn. But obviously if we're gonna play powder, we're gonna animate this. 
Okay, nice. Always love when you get to make them do this. Line up the top makes things easy. Guess not a Seacrum Coast. Easy peasy. I guess I go in on uh, Stoneforge instead. I thought it should matter much. Can we mold to five this game. Okay, time to draw. What's it, 3 1? Um, we had S for Sentinel in play. We cast uh, Cigar to Zay. They force a negation without paying. Another roll of five. Beagle for a few months. Thank you. Welcome back. Ah. Okay, I guess we lose. Thanks for the card, Karn. Be nice of you to. <laughs> I guess we draw a hammer. Come with the nexus. So Mingu, come to the conclusion. Fill answer bad and burn. It's an interesting um, deck to try him out in. I, I think good work to to work him on there. I think I think I think it is likely the case that they're bad and burn. It is just so hard to like not have a land that enters untapped in that deck. Although, Burn is also kind of bad at the moment, so... <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, well, if you were going to give me a card opponent, you should have known what you were doing with Karn. They grab the Stone Brain. Could not possibly have been the right call. I can't really win, though... Let's go to next next one. I I, I I I I don't know. Maybe maybe it was a good call. Probably they could have got ballista and not be dead to Nexus. Ballista surely was better. Is Shadow Spear cut? Probably Shadow Spear's cut. Three Pierce, three Surge. Surge obviously good against Besaju. you. If we want four. Needle is also probably let's let's let's, let's cut a cut up this time for a needle. Bajel, ten months. Thank you. Welcome back. Oh, nice hand. The play against Tron. Love it. Rush could be okay on the play. I, I, why? Because we're like gonna like two for one ourselves to get rid of expedition map. I'm like, let's not. Let's let's like, let's do better. Yeah, I think I hammer on the ornithopter. This way, I can go in after Cauldra if they have Besage or something. If they do have Besage you, then we could true turn clock them with the Cauldra. The game has ended. Okay. Gemstone Caverns, yet better be in the freaking hand. So I don't know, like, what <laughs> flavor of Tron they're on either, I guess. Uh, hard hand to mulligan, so let's not.
So if I go turn one Urza Saga, turn two Sigarda's Aid Hammer, turn three, I guess I can't get Hammer and Ginger Brood, huh? Did I mulligan this hand? Maybe I shouldn't have mulligan actually. It was wild because I just have all my pieces. Love a Besage you on the Cigar to Zade. No such luck. Okay. Done that twice. Dude, you called it, Canax. <laughs> you called it. Damn you. <laughs> Another hammer. Is this secretly a saga hand? I didn't see like a super clear line with Turn on Saga. Huh. Obviously, they're going to block and activate the Might, then we'll use the Surge. I think we'll use the Surge. Maybe we don't need it. I mean, like, a Surge is not going to get much better. I guess we have Ulamog. we we'll play around Ulamog. I mean, I have 22 damage next turn. Yeah, Ulamog makes a lot of sense for them to have in their hand also. I, I boarded out the Shadow Spear. I don't know if that was incorrect. Oh, so I, I can't beat O-Stone anyways. The Needle the Ring. If I Needle the Ring, I just don't have Lethal next turn. Problem. I can get beside you, but we can search for Besage. Yeah, I think I just need to have Lethal in play next turn. Hope that their draws are bad. Ginger lets me meet some cards that I wasn't beating uh, previously. What a fun league. Did you grab that beside you? Think we really want to need to O-Stone? Seems worse than Needling Ring. I feel like I just need to get the hammer to be able to try to win this turn. Like I just am so likely to give them an extra turn if I don't get the hammer. No matter what. Is this the situation you want March for? Seem to be dead. Maybe they get O Stone. They, they, they get uh, Stone Brain. You get in Staring Bridge. No fortune news rough here. I mean, they have to be, like, teleported to the hand, you know what I mean? I guess. Oh, they exiled the ginger brute?
Gotta be wrong, right? Like, we just have no outs to the bridge. We can kill the Karn, but it's over. Okay, on the play. Yeah, I know we, I, I, we can kill the Karn, but we can't win the game. But you just concede. Let's keep. I think I, because I have Cryptic Code in my deck, this is a fine keep. So my Fletch, I don't know, I think my, uh, I think Esther's dad is still here, so maybe we'll go out somewhere with him. Hammer running both was announced to bridge. So the problem is if I go Spell Pierce, I go Spell Pierce to the Spimber, then they pay, and they still have Besage you to Besage you my Ink Moth. Up against Martyr? Martyr's probably an awful matchup. The following turn? Yeah, that's what I'm saying though. So like what's so if we so if we use surge, um they so we have to go spell pierce and then they pay and then we surge and then we can't protect our ink moth. The, on the following turn. That, that's that's why I conceded, because we're no longer drawing to Hammer on the Ink Moth. Because either they have Karn in play, which we can't beat with Top Deck Hammer, or we don't have Surge anymore, which we can't, so we can't Top Deck Hammer doesn't beat. Because we know they have the Besaidju. Oh boy. This is direct. I mean, we're two and one. <laughs> I guess, yeah. This voice of the bless is looking pretty thick. <laughs> yeah, apparently Martyr, Martyr did like well at Dallas or something. Heard rumors. Alright, Cigar is aid, Pure Steel Paladin. Esper Sentinel, all good draws. Is there much point to attacking? I guess enough. So hold up Stoneforge activation slash uh, surge here. I I, I want to put I want to go put the code into play because it's an extra look at Paladin. Five cards in their hand. They grab a Haywire Might, can't activate it this turn. Hidden War Counter is Gains Indestructible. Basically there already, or nearly there. No attacks with your 9 9 flying vigilance. King's choice. I guess they could sack Ranger Captain. Oh, that's it. I, I guess Hammer being under there doesn't matter, but. No Fim rates or anything. Okay, so now we can go, they'll go sack Ranger Captain, we'll surge, then we can 
respawned again. This is flying, so I gotta, gotta get him with both here. It's again block with the Ariac champion. Alright, we could turn off a destructible on voice, although hard to imagine exactly how it could be even that relevant. Is that all just a destructible? Flying vigilance and destructible. Barely an issue. Yeah, imagine if they could have gotten nowhere in the way. Do they play to besage you as a land? Thing. Jacko with the three months. Thank you. Welcome back. Oh boy. <laughs> Soul Cauldron blows that, but I, bet, I bet I wouldn't be surprised if they had it. Good job, step. Am I, am I dead right now, actually? This is... 19... I'm taking 21. I'm not dead, but I, I no longer have out, so let's... Um... Spell Pierce out. If I want Solitude. You know, for my, it seems... Okay. Feels like I probably just want to ignore their game plan and get them dead. Not overthink it too much. Is March any good? I, I I mostly want March for Urza Saga matchups. I I don't think I'm really bringing them in. Like the, the mirror is also an Urza Saga matchup. Mostly it's against Saga decks. Like you know Titan kills. March seems good. I I don't know. I I'm not like really trying to play this deck where I'm just like mediocre removals. <laughs> We lead on Urza Saga. I think. It's like so slow to get a hammer out without it. I think we go Urza Saga into like turn three coat, and then ho hopefully we draw another artifact. I guess we could go. I guess we could go Saga into Saga, and then coat on turn three, and then turn four we'll have two hammers and play coat and play, with the ability to just go unblockable coat. So now I've drawn another hammer. Let's let's still just take this this line. I think I I like it. I like that. Um, now third hammer means that I'm just gonna I'm gonna kill them if they just do their life gain shenanigans. Jeez. I really hope they're. Hi, 18 months. Think we're back. You ever get burnt down? If do, how do you get out of it? Yeah, I, I guess. I guess one thing I do when I get burned out on magic, which does happen sometimes, uh, is to not to not to not really think about it too much and and just do anything else <laughs> for a, for a period of time. Here's while streaming. It was it was like the doorbell camera thing. I like a notification. Uh, I, I don't know, I just kind of do anything else uh, besides magic, and I just try not to think about think about it. And uh, it's kind of easier said than done, I get it, but if you're feeling burned out and you're not playing for a million minutes of the oof, if you're feeling burned out, you just shouldn't, you just shouldn't be playing, is, is, my, is, is, re is really what it is. You just should try to do something else with your time if you're not enjoying, uh, not enjoying the game. There's... There's a million other uh, games out there that are lots of fun and, and worth playing, and you don't have to force yourself to enjoy something. I guess Haywire might turn. Basically, none of my cards do anything here. Though. I'm gonna concede. <laughs> I'm, I'm so cold to this year. 
the super all in. Maybe if I'd been on concert plan, I would have played it out. I'm also gonna go eat lunch. I'm like, let me rumbling. I was kind of checking. If my